Scott Tales. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, and welcome to another edition of Scott Tales. My name is Scott Hostetler. You know, I'm getting a little worried about the old lady who lives across the street. I was talking to her. She said that her son was coming to visit from Florida. I said, oh, that's nice. Did you meet him at the airport? She says, oh, no, honey. I've known him for years. <laughs> So you think that's bad parenting. A uh, little kid busts into his parents' room in the middle of the night. He says, Daddy, Daddy, there's a monster in my closet. And the dad says, yeah, I know. Why do you think I got this room? <laughs> anyway, what they all need, what they all have in common is they need a chocolate martini just like you and this guy. Okay, we're going to, today we're going to use Rome Pope Coronado, the cappuccino and the vanilla. Now they are liqueurs that come from Mexico and they're kind of like Irish creams. They're uh, 20 proof, so they're very low alcohol. And uh, in fact, Rome Pope is a derivation of the word eggnog. It's where it came from. Uh, they were crafted in the 1500s by Franciscan monks and they are here today for us to enjoy. Now how we're going to do this is we're going to take our martini glass for the chocolate martini, and we're going to take a leading chocolate syrup, and we're going to drizzle it in, drizzle like this, and make kind of a decoration, woo, excellent, kind of a decoration, we're going to set that to the side, and we're going to get our shaker, and we're going to put in two ounces of the Rome Pope Coronado uh, cappuccino, two ounces of cappuccino, one ounce of vanilla vodka. Now, this vanilla vodka we're using is from Holland. It's Van Gogh vanilla vodka. And you know what? That reminds me. Uh, my grandfather, after he passed away, he left me an oil painting and a violin in the will for me. So I took him to get him appraised. They said, well, one thing is, it's a Van Gogh and a Stradivarius. I said, oh my God, how much are they worth? The guy said, nothing. Uh, Stradivarius was a lousy painter, and Van Gogh was crap at making violins. <laughs> so, just my luck. So we're going to shake, and again, take our lovely, lovely, chocolate martini, chocolate glass, and then pour in slowly as not to disturb the chocolate design that you have created, that you and I have created right here on the beach. Lovely. Then we're going to top it off with some chocolate shavings. Wow. And that is just to make it even more decadent. Should we give this a try? Yes! Oh boy, the um, uh, chocolate, coffee, very creamy. Oh, that is just a one lovely little, I shouldn't drink too much of that, okay. We're gonna set that down there and now we're going to show you a Scott Till uh, original creation, the vanilla, the cherry vanilla martini. Now to do that, we're going to take our glass and we're going to take Luxardo cherry syrup and we're going to do the same thing with the glass and try to make a little bit of a design. Perfect! And set that over there. Then we take our uh, shaker and we add two ounces of vanilla Rome Pope Coronado, two ounces. This is uh, the vanilla, it's very much like eggnog. It gets very, very nice. And then one more uh, ounce of the vanilla vodka, the Van Gogh vanilla vodka. You want another Van Gogh joke? No! Yeah, I think you can take it. Okay. Uh, Van Gogh brings a wrapped gift to his girlfriend. She says, oh, Vincent, I hope it's not another ear. He said, what? Then, <laughs> we're going to put in a scoop of vanilla ice cream because life can't get better. There's a little bit of ice in there, and then we're going to shake that vigorously. Ready? Ready? 
this is not as it's got more viscosity than the um, chocolate syrup, but it's still going to be cherry vanilla and cherry wonderful. You ready? Pour that in and make it. Like I said, this is brand new. I invented it myself because I put our ice cream and everything. And then we're going to garnish that with a Luxardo cherry. How about giving this a go? Yes! Oh, that's wonderful. It's got, you've got a, the, the eggs and vanilla backing on that with uh, the cherry. And oh boy, that is two wonderful uh, martinis, the chocolate martini and the cherry vanilla martini a la Scott Tales. Oh, working at the unemployment office must be very tense because even if you get fired, you have to come back the next day. <laughs> okay. No, you, th you don't think these jokes are funny, but you're going to be telling them at work tomorrow. <laughs> well, drink up, everybody, because it's almost closing time somewhere.